All of our babies are special and unique individuals, and each of our baby's care needs to be addressed individually. Babies with cleft lip and palate sometimes have trouble with feeding. If your baby has a cleft lip alone, they may very well be able to breastfeed. But if your baby has a cleft of the back part of the palate, your baby cannot physically close the mouth from the nose and should not be expected to breastfeed. Your doctor will be able to tell you if your baby will be able to breastfeed or not. Your baby will need to use a special bottle. This video will teach you how to use different types of bottles that are very good at giving your child good nutrition. And remember, if your baby cannot breastfeed, you can still give the best nutrition by pumping breast milk and feeding with these special bottles. Having a baby with either cleft lip or palate or Piero Ben sequence can bring up a lot of questions. Well, we're here to help you in any way we can. In this short video, we hope to walk you through the bottles and techniques that will help you feed your baby. First, let's talk about the type of bottles we use here at Spectrum Health. We believe these are the best bottles for babies with cleft lip or palate and Piero Ben. The first bottle is the Medela Special Needs Feeder, or Haberman Feeder. You can control the flow of the milk by offering squeezes to the nipple. Here is how you assemble the bottle. First, place the white membrane into the yellow disc. Be sure the stud of the membrane goes completely through the center hole of the disc. Fill the base of the bottle with breast milk or formula. Place the nipple into the yellow collar of the bottle. Place the assembled disc and membrane into the base of the nipple and collar. Be sure that the valved membrane and the raised side of the disc are facing the inside of the nipple. Place the assembled nipple into the base of the bottle and screw together. To fill the nipple, hold the bottle upright and squeeze the air out of the nipple. Keep squeezing as you turn the bottle upside down. Then release the nipple and milk will fill the nipple. Repeat this step one to two times until the nipple is almost full. The lines on the side of the nipple show how open the slit in the nipple is. The slit controls the flow rate. The shortest line is no flow. Medium line is medium flow. And the longest line is the fastest flow. Hold the bottle with the collar resting in the angle between your thumb and first finger. Practice squeezing the milk into your hand, the sink, or a basin before feeding your baby so you become familiar with the flow and how hard to squeeze. A gentle, short squeeze is all you need. Now you are ready to feed your baby. Position your baby in an upright cradled or side-lying position, whatever is most comfortable for you and your baby. You can use a pillow or a boppy pillow on your lap to help position your baby side-lying. Place the nipple into the baby's mouth with the shortest line aligned with your baby's nose. Once your baby begins to suck on the nipple, give the nipple a gentle squeeze. When your baby begins sucking on the nipple and appears calm, move the nipple so the middle line is aligned with the baby's nose. As your baby sucks, squeeze the nipple every three to four sucks. This will allow your baby to swallow the milk in between squeezes. If this seems too fast or too much milk is dripping out of your baby's mouth, or if your baby begins coughing or choking, don't squeeze the nipple as often. Milk may drip from your baby's nose due to the cleft palate. That's normal, and you should not be worried. The next bottle I'd like to show you is the Dr. Brown Specialty Feeding System. Your baby can control the flow of the milk with this bottle. You do not need to squeeze this bottle. This bottle comes with a level one nipple, or slow newborn flow rate. To assemble this bottle, first fill the bottle base with breast milk or formula. Insert the blue one-way valve into the nipple. Make sure the valve is in tight and flush with the nipple base. Insert the nipple into the collar. Be sure the nipple is fully pushed through the collar. Snap the blue reservoir onto the off-white insert. Place the reservoir into the bottle base. Make sure the insert is making full contact with the top of the bottle base. Place the nipple collar loosely on the bottle and screw into place. Tip the bottle upside down and milk should begin to fill the nipple. You may need to squeeze the air out of the nipple to get the milk to fill it. 
After positioning your baby into an upright cradled or side-lying position, insert the nipple into your baby's mouth. When your baby begins to suck, the feeding should go well. If the milk seems to flow too fast, gently tip the nipple downward and slowly remove the nipple from your baby's mouth for a suck break. This will allow your baby to swallow the milk in their mouth. Reinsert the nipple after your baby takes a breath and begins to root towards the nipple. Keep feedings around 20 minutes. Increased feeding times will cause your baby to work too hard and burn all those nutrients and calories they are taking in. So that's it. If you have any questions, please contact us. We are here to help you.